Hey tech heads, welcome to Mobile Quickie. I'm Dennis and today we'll be talking about machine learning on the edge using Core ML. In the first video of this series, we introduced the applications of machine learning on mobile. If you haven't seen it, I recommend watching that one first as it sets the stage for what we are going to talk about in this video. As mentioned in the previous video and important to remind you is that when we talk about machine learning on a mobile device, it's about the inference and prediction of user data using a machine learning model that has been fully trained in the cloud. For machine learning inference, mobile developers have three choices for accessing trained models to provide inference. One, use Core ML to access a local on-device trained model, today's topic. Two, host a machine learning model in the cloud and send data from the device to the hosted endpoint to provide predictions. Three, they can call third-party API-driven machine learning cloud services where the service hosts and manages a predefined trained model for you. User data is passed through an API call from the device. Now let's get to the core of this problem and I predict you'll be coming back for more. Get it? Get on with it! <laughs> core ML is the foundational machine learning framework used across Apple products. What I like to call the cool kid. CoreML delivers fast performance with easy integration of trained machine learning models on the edge, which means the machine learning prediction is being calculated on this device. There are four advantages of using CoreML as machine learning on the edge. Low latency and near real-time results. You don't need to make a network call by sending the data and waiting for a response. This could be critical for video applications processing successive frames from the on-device camera. Availability offline. The application runs without network connection. Privacy. The data never leaves the device. Cost. No network connection, no API calls, no model stored in the cloud. Now here are some of the disadvantages to CoreML. Application size. By adding the model to the device, you're increasing the size of the app and some accurate models can be huge. System utilization. Prediction and inference on the mobile device involves lots of computation, which increases battery power usage, and some of the older devices may have difficulty. Model training. The model on the device will need to be continually trained in most cases, and any change to the model results in the app needing to update the model on the device. Go back to the size problem, and now we have a user experience problem. CoreML is a machine learning model that is pre-trained in the cloud using any of the popular deep learning frameworks such as TensorFlow, MXNet, Keras, Cafe2, etc. Then converted to CoreML format and added directly to your Xcode project. CoreML supports convolutional, the most common, deep and recurrent neural networks, support vector machines, and tree ensembles. We aren't going to dive too deep here, but we'll discuss the most common neural network which is convolutional when we cover image classification problems later on. Machine learning on mobile is really a system of tools and frameworks with CoreML as the core. CoreML is tightly integrated and supports the vision for image analysis, foundation, which is natural language processing, and gameplay kit frameworks. Let's talk about each. The vision framework performs face and face landmark detection, text detection, barcode recognition, image registration, and feature tracking. When using CoreML to solve computer vision problems like object classification and object detection, use the vision framework as Apple has made it super simple to use vision as the pipeline from the camera to CoreML. Vision does all the heavy lifting from AV foundation to CV fit pixel buffer format that CoreML expects, so take advantage of it when you can. The Foundation API offers natural language processing and speech recognition. It uses machine learning to deeply understand text using features such as language identification, tokenization, and detecting names from text. The Gameplay Kit is for architecting and organizing your game logic. It incorporates common gameplay behaviors such as random number generation, artificial intelligence, pathfinding, and agent behavior. We'll play with that topic another time. I see what you did there. Core ML is a very powerful tool and plays nicely with other machine learning frameworks from Apple. I predict this is just the beginning for machine learning on the device and we'll soon see more announcements coming. 
In the meantime, we'll be creating our next video where we dive a little deeper into the use of CoreML to solve a common supervised machine learning technique called classification that answers questions like, is that a chihuahua or a muffin? Yay, we're done. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notified when we drop a new mobile quickie. Have a great day and thanks for watching.